Let's talk about morals in video games. Do we as gamers care about them? Compelling moral choices can encourage players to experiment with different ethical stances over multiple playthroughs, while underdeveloped morality systems can seem like little more than an additional bullet point on the back of the box. Games that give their players complex and meaningful choices allow them to explore the situations they are in from different ethical perspectives. In games like this, making choices does not feel like completing chores. Players, by engaging with such morally compelling games, are likely to experience an ethical reflection on their gameplay and their choices in it. Game developers use conscientious design to tweak the gaming narratives of their games to coincide with the moral messages they intend to implement in their games. By using conscientious design, game developers encourage the players to engage in the moral problematics of the game through ethical reflection on the gaming narrative. When you play a game and feel for the characters, feel for what is happening to them, for their past, their present or future, you develop a connection with the gaming narrative of that game. When that connection is affected, you may feel disturbed, or on the opposite, you may feel relieved. It depends on how positive or negative the game's effect on your connection with the gaming narrative was. When the game developers intentionally control these influences on the player's connections with the characters in the game, they aim to encourage players to ask certain questions pertaining to the choices in-game and the moral connections to those choices. The game's effect on the player's connection to the gaming narrative itself is created through the design process of the game. First, the game developers decide the morals they intend to introduce through their game, and second, they design the game to have elements prompting the player to think of questions related to these morals, or of certain decisions, choices that they've made during their gameplay that made them think about the morals the game developers chose to introduce. The process of designing these influences is called conscientious design. According to Flanagan and Nissenbaum, conscientious designers are those game designers that commit to considering values when they design and build systems, in addition to accepting three core premises, that societies have common, not necessarily universal values, that technologies, including digital games, embody ethical and political values, and that those who design digital games have the power to shape players' engagement with these values. In other words, conscientious design is about asking important moral questions about game design during the development process and implementing meaningful moral prompts in game elements that are related to choices that player makes in game. Game developers that create space for moral exploration with their games bring about new possibilities for games as tools for our moral development. Because we as players are not mindlessly clicking the screen and periodically pressing the keys when the game narrative is engaging, exciting and compelling. Compelling gaming narratives encourage ethical reflection, encourage the player to engage with the morals of the game. This may be done through a number of ways. The game may call to the player's empathy through its narrative or take away something the player has been relying on to progress to the game, something important to the player and the gaming narrative, or possibly flip the player's perspective to a contrasting one that will reveal the unforeseen consequences of the player's actions previously unknown to them, making them realize the existence of the other side of the story. Game developers express the gaming narrative's moral problematics through the various prompts for reflection from the player. These prompts are points of interaction which provide meaningful choices that lead to interesting consequences. What makes the choices meaningful are the values and beliefs related to them. And what makes the consequences interesting is the degree of the player's unique contribution to them through the choices in their gameplay. Players' choices matter, and they know it. It is the case for the games that encourage ethical reflection. Games like that include elements that intrigue the player or leave them speechless. Games like that make players ask themselves questions like, did I really make it? Or what have I done? Questions pertaining to their choices and the values related to them. Choices, consequences, values, and beliefs are all the language of ethical reflection. 
Zagel argues that emotional responses that are ethically motivated are usually triggered when the player realizes that they have or are about to violate a moral standard. When the player starts questioning the relation of their choices in game to their moral standards, they are engaging in ethical reflection. Zagel also mentions that games that encourage emotional responses often encourage players to become invested in the narrative and fictive elements of a game while simultaneously highlighting the role that the player has in guiding the choices and decisions made in a game. This is to say that the more questions pertaining to your moral standards you ask about the choices you make in a game, the more likely you will be invested with a specific gaming narrative. The game intrigues you, you can relate to its characters' feelings, and you are concerned with the situations that they are put in. The game narrative, the questions around it matter to you, you are invested. Now what has led to this? The answer is many things, but all of them are part of the gaming narrative. The story that you experience, among other methods, makes you face moral dilemmas you have yet to engage with, and takes away the control when you need it the most. The story plays with you, with your morals, and in turn, you reflect on it. Let's take a look at an example of a game with an incredibly touching story called Journey. Published in 2012 by Annapurna Interactive, Developed by the game company, this adventure indie genre game that can be played both as a co-op and a single-player game takes the players on a silent journey from the deserts to the peak of the mountain. With 118 awards two years after the release of the game, Journey is listed as an indie game with the most won awards in the Guinness World Records. So what does the gaming narrative of a game like that sound like? It is a silent journey where the words your character speaks are simply musical notes instead of a clear speech. To restate the main point of this video, game developers by using conscientious design encourage the players to engage in the moral problematics of the game through ethical reflection on the gaming narrative. Developers from that game company engage the players of Journey in their metaphor for life through the gaming narrative. It unfolds to the player not in words, but in action, in progression through the game. The player learns about the gaming narrative with little guidance from the game. There are no missions or objectives displayed on the screen, just a journey to the top of the mountain. The journey the player takes in the game contains challenges and puzzles which are followed by new beautiful sceneries as rewards. Those the players encounter on their journey are either other players who could potentially help them or the machines that aim to kill the players. The choices the player of the journey makes are around the values and those who they encounter in the game. These choices are surrounded by themes of exploration, determination, courage, fear and hopelessness, among others. Additionally, the game itself contains a mix of different religious themes. The player engages with moral problematics of the game by progressing through the various scenes of it and learning the story from the short cutscenes they gain access to along the way. The cutscenes themselves contain religious themes as well. Over time, the player learns that they are traversing the ruins of a society which lost its values. The journey is stretching across this graveyard. And this is one of the elements of the game that is there to prompt ethical reflection from the player. To make them ask why. To make them ask what does this mean? Why does it matter? And why does this matter to me? By implementing morals in their mechanics and the gaming narrative, telling the story through showing and acting it out with the player, that game company encourages the players of Journey to reflect on life as an adventure, a journey. Conscientious design and ethical reflection are the drivers of the implementation of moral problematics in games. They are worth further discussion and are definitely worth popularizing in the gaming industry because of the unique potential of games in today's world. Thank you for your attention.